Hi and welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. The weather is pretty cloudy. It's cold and it's not as nice. So let's jump in today's video. Today we're gonna make a walkthrough of Photoshop Express. Photoshop Express is the Photoshop app for the phone or for a tablet. It's not the full version like you have on some iPads. So let's begin with the first icon over here. Here, under the first icon, we can add some uh, filters. We can invert the colors and have uh, way more. And if you pay for Creative Cloud, you have way more options. So here we have maybe Charm. That's how it looks like. And here we can change the white balance if you want something warm, something more vintage or something like that. So we have some black and white. Here's what everything is. So here's the black and white. Here we have everything uh, for portrait, nature, some color splash, if you're into something like that, that would give it a more Andy Warhol theme to the picture. And here we are, done with this one. And here's the second section. So here we can add some light leaks. So maybe this one, maybe this one adding a lens flare there you go and then we can make it darker we can make it brighter some other stuff oh we can go back and we can maybe add some bokeh and maybe this one then we can make it harder we can make it brighter whatever now we're gonna go back to the normal i saw another one that was pretty nice but i can't find it right now where is it it was like an aura or something like that. Here it is. You can add some kind of a light aura or something like that. Or that. And then you have in the second section, you can add some bokeh. Ah, oh, I was already in bokeh actually. So, you can add, look like something muddy here. Now it's loading. So, I'm gonna wait. So here we go. Let's go back to normal. And there's also an option when you can add some bokeh, but I don't see it right now. So here we have the different effects. Maybe I could add a light on the top of our Volkswagen Beetle here. So it's illuminated. The light leaks <laughs> was back there. Yeah, we just went into bokeh, right, and we can add some rain drops, that's another feature. So now we're gonna wait until it's done loading, adding our rain drops in, so here we go. And it would be maybe nicer if they would be uh, transparent or something like that, or a bit less, maybe, ah, here we go. If we change our slider here, we can make them really uh, black, we can make them. So let's go back to, uh, to normal and now we have the next section where we can crop our picture for for example a device, Facebook, Facebook cover or Instagram, Twitter, whatever, Pinterest, YouTube art, YouTube thumbnail, Kindle and other, other stuff. You can rotate your picture here. So let's go back to from here. There we go. And now we could transfor uh, transform so we could skew our picture so deform it some horizontal skew and that's it so there you go so we can go back to the normal crop so no aspect ratio let's go for size so we will have to rotate it maybe a bit straighten it or rotate it you see you can flip it and also then we can put it back in its normal position so now let's go to the next tab which is we can select our beetle can make it bigger. This is for the brush, so I can, can paint over it. And I could basically take my S Pen and it would be way more precise. So I could do some corrections over here. I could sharpen, we could reduce luminance and other stuff here. There are some that are grayed out, don't know why. And here we are into the split tone, so we can add a specific tone to our picture. So here we have the HSL tab where we can change the saturation of U of maybe red, 
orange, you can change the saturation, the luminance, and this or every other color. So here, uh, here what I was looking for is the blur. So here we can change the blur. Now if we set the uh, background, here's only the subject that's going to be on blur, but you can see that it doesn't mask it as well as you would if you do it in Photoshop with two or three layers. Here we can add a vignette, for example, here it's going to apply to the full picture. Can change that, midpoint, failure, and then could add some roundness to our vignette. Then here there is no lens profile because I took this one off Pixabay, so the exits were erased. Here we have our uh, content aware eraser or content aware fill tool. Here's the name I was looking for. And here I have more uh, options. Can maybe add some opacity. And here can change the opacity and stuff. And then it's going to auto blend it for everything here. Can change the feather, like the hardness. So the feather is going to increase the hardness or it's going to decrease it. So here we have our eye. This is to remove red eyes from humans or from pets. Here we have a VW beetle, so we don't need to remove red eyes. Here we can add some text, add some fonts, some styles. Here we have our fonts. We can change the color, the alignment. And here we can add some stickers. So here, add some different stickers here. And here we can add a vignette, a black edge, bevel, bevel black, a frame, a circle, a black circle, some borders, or whatever. So this was the walkthrough of Adobe Photoshop Express. It's actually a pretty nice app and if you have already your subscription, you can uh, download it for free, just put in your Adobe Creative Cloud credentials and then you're ready to start. And then when you're done, you can go to next, can save it to the Creative Cloud, send it over to Lightroom for further edits, or save it to the gallery, uh, send it by Bluetooth, nearby share if you have a Samsung phone, to an existing note if you have a Galaxy Note, a reminder, or whatever. And you can even set it as a wallpaper, you can print it and more stuff. I hope you like this little walkthrough. A subscription would be expressing. See you in the next one and take care of yourself.